Hey and welcome back to another episode of Luffy Strange Before the Storm. And the last time you saw me rant a lot. There was a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. And I am just hoping that there won't be as many things I'm gonna be annoyed at for this next part. Because one, it's frustrating being so frustrated about things. But two, it took a lot of editing last episode. So to cut that length down a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be interesting seeing this one. I just hope I won't be as frustrated, basically. But yeah, what happens happens and uh, I'm ready to jump into this strange little town once more. All right, so I just had to watch that small cutscene here again because I left just, or I ended the last episode just after it. Um, I don't really feel like talking to him, so I guess I'll just go into the garage. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? I uh, he is. I know he's gonna end up doing that, so. Fire extinguisher? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. <laughs> yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. That would be smart. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? That's the one she gives to Max, right? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess mm. we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Yeah. I mean, I get, you know, one life has been lived and now you're moving into another life and sometimes it's nice to move on and don't be reminded of the loss you've had every single day. David Lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? <laughs> Do you really care about your lawn? Dad's toolbox. Zoe. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh, car repair guys? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend by toolbox, did David mean this or did he mean himself? Ha 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 ha. Okay, I guess 50, we take 50 it. chance I smash him in the face with this. 60 40. Maybe 90 10. Yeah. All right. I don't think there was anything else here. Right? Because I can't go into the other part of the place, so... Ugh, I'm stuck on the ground. Alright, I got your stuff. Here you go. So, oh, well, you I shall speak instead. You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Oh, uh, don't talk like that! And you wonder why kids hate you! A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Yeah, that 90, 90 to 10 looks real good right now. Like, 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 okay, I'm not gonna rant as much this time, I swear. But you, we were talking about, the mom was saying like, hey, you should say thank you for him driving you and stuff. Well, maybe if the adults taught us that saying thank you once you receive something is a normal thing, then maybe Chloe would do that in this situation. Or the, yeah, maybe Chloe would say thank you and then. But if he can't even say thank you for her bringing the thing that he asked for, why is Chloe gonna say thank you? You gotta practice what you preach, dude. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. Yeah, you too, My dude. Attitude is what you makes too. You special, David. It doesn't make him right. special though. Just makes him annoying. Though, you know, he has an attitude because of stuff too. I get it. Except fist bump. I really don't want to. You know, Chloe would not do this. And I don't know why we're doing this. I really want to leave a man. I'm gonna do it. Fine. I'm a good person. Whatever. 
It's not gonna stop him complaining about Chloe, though. But it's just not giving him another reason to complain about her. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be annoyed. I'm not gonna be as annoyed today. I don't want to. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Oh, fuck. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed mm. enough of a. A person who asks you to respect them is just. That's just bad manners. You need to respect me. What? Vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Shut this down. Ignore and endure. Ignore and endure. Mm -hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough. No doubt about it. But all this... Staying out mm -hmm. late, ignoring her command, drinking. We're not in the army here. We're not in the it's army. It's making everything harder for her. Hmm. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? I don't think Cole has been crazy? put first in a long time, though. Part of what though. David's saying makes sense to me. I'm just gonna say, got it. Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. You know, nothing's gonna change, so. Man, I don't. I really other. don't like. No, we don't. I'm just, um. As a teenager, sometimes you just shut up and endure it, just like she's doing right now. You just. You just take it because you know they're not listening anyway. Country music. <laughs> oh, is she dreaming yeah, about her dad or? I just called to tell you. <laughs> Did you guys do that? Hold your hand outside the window and just feel the the flow of the air. I used to do that. She looks so happy. I'm so sad for what her. A beautiful day. I want to talk to him. I don't want to yeah. get distracted by the other Pretty stuff up. and then miss this. Can I talk to him again? He's not talking. I guess mom left her purse back here. Oh, with all the condoms? <laughs> this is a weird fucking dream. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Mm hmm. You can see a crash. Chloe, you're gonna be late. You could say that nicer. You could say, "Hey, Chloe, we're here." Thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me. See, and then the moment you say thank you, they're gonna freaking not accept it because they're gonna be annoyed at your tone. Some people have a hard time saying thank you and have a hard time just like admitting that they're grateful for something. But they, it's gonna make it harder for them to say thank you next time. I'm gonna lose it over this game. I'm gonna lose it. Young lady, <laughs> I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. Oh, oh man. I can't. Hello, Black Hell. I can't. 
can't keep stopping every time I want to say something. I'm just gonna endure it. I'm just gonna nod my head and, and smile just like she's trying to do. And, and... Ugh. Future needs excellence. I don't think so. Future needs compassion and empathy. Am I supposed to do something again, or... No, I'm just... Sometimes I don't know if I'm supposed to move or not. Is Elliot? Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I do not I'm remember this face. guy from the first game, so I wonder what happens to him. What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's mm. true, then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? Uh, maybe. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. They also... No, wait. Warren and Max didn't have chem together, right? But Chloe is good at it. Gotta track right. down Steph to pick up my DVD. Reach. I've still got time before class. All right, well, let's Maybe look at things then. Suck. Maybe. I like the poster. Anti-drug poster. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Mm. Eh. Well, at least not for now. See Warren or Brooke? Oh. Press and hold L2. Oh, dang! <laughs> she writes this in her hand. That's cool. Oh, stuff. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks, I'm away. Skip. I don't want to skip, skip. Hey, Let's skip. talk to him. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Um, firewalk show, Justin's mom. Justin's mom? So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks mm -hmm. all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. Mmm, firewalk show? So, I went to the mill last night. Cut firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait. You went to the mill last night? Is it smart it was saying cool. this to security? Whoa, pretty wicked. Okay. I didn't he know seems you nice. I like, like Skip. That. Mmm, good music? What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in okay. a band, actually. No shit. Wow. Really? We're called Pisshead. Piss. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Mm. Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I yeah. mean. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Great. Chloe seems like somebody who would support people for doing what they like, you know? I wonder how long you're supposed to listen here, if anything actually happens. I'd vibe with this. He's like, any reaction here? Anything? 
Can't tell if you like it or not. Okay, I'm done. So, what did you think? Really good. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Yeah, let's go. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. Yeah. No worries. All right, we've seen her before. Do you have a petition this Morning, time? Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? <laughs> Sounds so sad. Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. No promises. Um, I don't want to ruin the mystery. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind yeah. of change do you mean? Yeah. Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely oh, generous right. donation the to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Yeah. The arts supports STEM too. Things will turn around. Uh, the arts supports STEM too. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Uh... Um, okay, how far can I go over here? No, Chloe. Okay. Class is back the other way. Alright, I want to check out the board, though. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. Uh, but fire's so pretty. Yeah, I was thinking after editing the last episode, I was thinking about this fire thing. Because in Max's scenario, we had the storm coming. I'm wondering if the fire is gonna play a part at the end of the game. Um, so I was thinking that a little bit. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. Alright. Corner. Ah, you can smoke. Ah, I don't want to smoke. <laughs> I don't want to do all the things Chloe wants to do. And then she'll smell like smoke and somebody will point it out and, you know. She smoked this morning anyway, didn't she? This makes being high sound like a bad thing. <laughs> Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Okay, it doesn't say any details. Yeah, there's a lot about this fire going around, so... Oh, Samantha. I don't know if I know you. Hey, Chloe. I don't hey, think Samantha. I do. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Uh, I don't know. It's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. No worries. I don't I'm always get jokes either. Sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... I love this girl's voice. Sorry, Chloe. She sounds so no sweet. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Mm, like, cut off. Can I talk to her again? I really didn't mean anything. Okay. Oh, uh, you're all good. You're all good. Um. Oh, you're Justin. Okay. 
We know Justin though. Uh, I look sick. What's yeah. going on? Cloud of weed smoke, crazy house party, Rachel Amber. I am curious about Rachel hey, Amber. Out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. Yeah, everybody I mean, noticed she her. Out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. Dang. Then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. Mm -hmm. Crazy hour Last party? night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow. No shit. I thought that place was like meth central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Yeah, you could understand. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. I don't want to talk about weed. Word. Um. Okay, so she's over there. Let's go here. Evan, I'd like to yeah. Talk to you about awareness and prevention. Good morning. Okay, to you so too, you're the Evan. one who's who wrote the thing. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Uh, wildfires are not awesome. Why are you doing this? This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. Thank I bet you would be a dream model. Of her, right? What do you think? I guess. Yeah. Seems like she's really nice I got to everybody. Right. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Yeah. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Yeah, you Chloe has a hard enough time to care about I... herself, so I totally get it. No. How seriously am I taking this right now? There you go. Seriously. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Because I'm very serious. Blackwell Academy. Home of tomorrow's leaders. Principal Dix. Big... What? Big McHuge Balls? Nice. Yeah, he's really doing what? well with this, Caring um... about important issues? Caring in general. Yep. True. Alright. I think she said she was over here, right? Stephen Mikey. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't Yeah, understand. I would be friends with these guys. Um... Try me or I used to play? Try, try me? Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? Oh. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Yeah, oh, I, I used hey, to think like do you that know too. If Rachel's a gamer. Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Rachel Amber Didn't seems like an all-round person who's doing everything. Like different thing? Um... We're not friends. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has ah. a crush. Chloe. Seems like everybody did Chloe on Chloe. Rachel. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Um, sure. Yeah? What the hell? Game on, nerds. 
Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Oh, <laughs> interesting. I'm totally nice. an elf barbarian. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Mm, Alone, Black you well. fought mm -hmm. your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. Okay. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Ooh. Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. All right. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Uh, Calamastia. Calamastia. Yeah, we need a cool name. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. I love fantasy Elamon names, so... narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says... I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. I am also here King to defeat Tiberius, what Dur makes you think you are to fight alongside me? According to my character sheet, I once made a man kebab. I once made oh, a man it kebab. The guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. I wish they included the you man kebab part, but crossing. <laughs> to your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron. The Durgaron, not Durganon. Which okay. way do you go? Straight ahead, uh, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Dur -dur. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training uh, ground. I love loot. Surely Let's go to the training round. All, all right, we Your can be choice, good people. Newbie. Where do you wish to go? Uh, we'll go to train. <laughs> we can leave the game. We'll go to the training ground and get some good. loot. Yeah. Let's go to the training ground. I love stuff, so. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc Ooh. who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So, what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy nice. shit! You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant. Well, still maybe you're a little bit overpowered. He maybe we should tweak his skills a little a bit. Warhammer. All yours. Fatal Cleave, Knee Slam, Pommel Strike. I want to go with Fatal Cleave. Okay, yeah. let's end this. Fatal Cleave. Get to get Mr. Glass. Downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open. Oh, hell yeah. Bun. Fuck yeah. Or the I'm Kebab awesome Cleaver. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit oh, of acid, fuck. it's unlikely any loot survives. Dang. Uh, you'll pay for this. We all make mistakes. Don't worry, Alamon guy. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise. And ah, uh, yes, yes, voice and forgiving. Nice. That's my middle name. Um, well, let's free the Guess prisoners. It's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You peeps. behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks <clears throat> himself in. Aww. Aww. Poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're kin of dragons. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face. Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, 
probably isn't flattering. Uh -huh. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Mm, do we have a pickpocket skills? Ooh, uh, intimidate? Oh, pick, pick the lock. I want to test the intimidate thing again. But how would that work in this scenario? Okay, let's intimidate. just do it. That's just skill I have. do something fun. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. It seems you like we're a Chloe thing as well. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication. Ooh, thank you. Thing. Back Shit. me up here. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Oh yeah. Time Let's to do it. Some real magic. So uh -huh. this is called a skill challenge, where mm -hmm. you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. Yep. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Meat Papa, dragons are pussies. Shoes? Uh, dragons are pussies? Everybody knows that dragons God, are that pussies. Timer. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragon can grow. Yeah, that might make him more angry. Showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Oh. Damn. Can make you shorter. Can make you. Uh, well, I don't know. That's too little time to think. Dragon King guy. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing yeah. solo. The Dragon Kin swallows the oh. key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, <laughs> laughing at you. Oh then man! I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments, I like the way she dies, thinks. I hold the key up to his face, and then I. Laugh. I love the way she's like leaning into this. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge. Yeah, you can't say no to that. So horrifically amazing, you won. Yeah, go yeah, team. Yeah, let's go. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. <laughs> next? Fair, that's fair. I mean, it's we go to the... Time. You enter the tent to find Durgeron. Durgeron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron mm. laughs again holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire Well, based. that's not Except good. For, you know, acid blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? Sure. What'll it be? Uh, Brutal Punch, Annihilation Strike, Wrathful Rush. I mean, anything that's called Anni Annihilation. Sounds good. Wrathful sounds also fun. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds bosses. <laughs> yeah, that's my thought as well. One. Uh. That's bad, right? Yeah. Not for me. Uh. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, mm. roll a reflex save. Oh, Am I saved? No. Uh oh. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Oh shit. Um, legs, plural. So oh. Both feet at the ankles. Sorry. This game is awesome. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um, jump in front of El 
Elamon, I'm dance, encourage Elamon. Just jump in front. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, I mean he, thanks, Calamasti. Yeah, he's worried about losing okay. his character, so. And Chloe doesn't has care that much about her character. Toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Alright. Shit! Oh no. Your you know, this is my luck with dice. I, I don't have great great luck. Pales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Mm -hmm. Seriously? I can't yeah. do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. <laughs> We're even. You feel mm. your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the do air. Do we have a last it effort? Like um, hell. like what stab him do? in the throat or something? Swing for his head. Swing for his arm. Swing for his head. I take one last swing at Durg. Dur Durg faces head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Let's go. Mm. Eleven. You swing, catching Durger on on the side of his head, severing mm. one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill. Yeah, but well, what maybe Alamon can he do that laughs, final hit. Then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I mm -hmm. cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Yeah, or we just Check have to do better uh, attacks and get more lucky. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. Nice. Sorry I died. Fun. I left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, that was really yeah. fun. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. Yeah, thank you so much. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. All right, I'm gonna leave this episode here, I think, and then we'll do chemistry class next time. All right, we're ending this here, and so as not to overwork myself like I did with the last episode and the editing. I'm gonna keep these, I'm gonna try to keep them below one hour or around there. But yeah, I really enjoyed that Dungeons and Dragons sort of session. I've never done that before. Uh, the closest thing I've gone to something like this is um, fight the fighting fantasy books. And I haven't done a lot of them, but I really enjoy them. Creating like a character, getting stats, and fighting your way through like strange scenarios. Um, I find that really fun i uh, am a fantasy enjoyer and uh this something like this would suit me a lot and i wish i had friends like that in school that would have been fun but i didn't even know i liked this kind of stuff in school so i wouldn't have known what to do but yeah that was a fun one i'm glad it ended on a little bit of a high note since the start of this one was also kind of uh, just david and joyce just really pushing my limits here but it's fine i'll try to bear it but yeah it was a fun one i hope you enjoyed this one too and if you like this video Video, you can always like comment and subscribe if you feel like it and I will catch you on the next one bye bye